Hey YouTube, thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you all how to do this really quick and easy DIY headband holder. At my baby shower we had a headband station so baby girl has plenty of headbands and clips and all that good stuff. For this tutorial you need to have some type of picture frame. Um, what I used was, I went to the thrift store and found this. It was I believe from Target. It was like a mirror but it had the mirror part had broken out and it just had the back and the frame. Um, so what I used was the frame and then also you can use um, like drawer liner or shelf liner and I got that from Big Lots and basically you measure it out to fit your frame and on the back there's all these it's like a grid and you can cut a along the line and it's it's really easy to cut and um, easy to work with you also need some mini um, clothes pins which I got from Hobby Lobby and I just painted those with fingernail polish and then attached rhinestones to them with glue gun so right now I'm just adjusting the size to make sure it fits my frame and continue to cover the frame with it to see see like right there I kind of got an opening so I'm gonna have to cover that up and you just peel it and attach it now if you do not want to use this type of paper, um, basically I just use what I had on hand. This is what I already had for like years. I just never used it. But if you don't want to use this type of paper, um, what I suggest you use is you can use fabric. You can glue it on there with like spray adhesive or you could use wrapping paper and just wrap it. Um, you could use, you could paint the frame, the back of the frame, whatever it is you want to use, use it. This paper is pretty easy to work with. Um, sometimes you get bubbles and kind of messes up, but all you have to do is just lift it back up and then reuse it, like re-smooth um, it out. And if you're doing it and you just see you have way too many bubbles and it's just irritating you, you can also just use like a push pin or a needle and just kind of pop the bubble and then smooth it out. If you all notice, I am on a exercise ball because I, in this video, I think I'm like 38 or 37 weeks pregnant. No, and I'm 39 weeks pregnant in this video. So yeah, I'm ready for the baby to come out. So I'm on this ball bouncing <laughs> throughout the whole video, trying to get her to descend. Don't worry if you cover up any holes, you can always go back with your scissors. I just use the point of the scissor and just kind of poke through it and twist it in order to get the, uh, the hole to come back open. Right now, I just keep putting the frame over the back just to make sure that um, I'm not cutting somewhere where I'm going to re-expose the back and also make sure that I cover up everything that I want to be covered. So these end pieces, they I had a little bit too much, so of course I went and trimmed it off. And since it was a decent size left, these shapes, I can reuse them. So I just apply them back to that backing that you get on the back of the contact paper. I just applied it right back to that wax paper, and you can reuse them. Okay, so here are the clothespins that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, make sure you, you print out the 40% off discount as well. So I um, I just clipped them onto the tag that they were that they came with and then polished them just like that so I wouldn't have to touch them or lay them flat or anything. It was just already on there. I could just hold it and then just polish them. Be careful with the hot glue gun because the glue is hot. 
you can always just put the glue right on the um, clothespin and then just put the rhinestone over it but this is how I do it and I only paint it one side because I figure only one side is gonna be visible so what's the point of painting both sides you can use bigger clothespin like I know they sell those at the dollar store but for me, it just didn't work out because it was just going to be too big and bulky. So these are just some regular old ribbons that I had left over from opening up gifts and things like that. So I would say hold on to those ribbons because you never know when you're going to use them. So right now I'm just deciding how many strands across do I want and just measuring it out. Also, make sure you give yourself a, a little bit of extra room just in case um, you need it. Uh, I put in, make sure it had like some kind of slack to it because I knew it was going to be right against that back of the picture frame. I didn't really need as much slack as I thought I did, but I did make sure I had enough slack because I didn't want to have to try to like tug on it just to get it to clip onto the, um, the clothes pins. I didn't want to like run out of space. So I put a little slack in the ribbon. And if you have a thimble, I know some people still might have thimbles, like that little metal piece that goes over your thumb when you're sewing. Um, that's really good to use when you're working with high glue so that you don't burn your fingers. I've just been working with it was for so many years that it's just like, it is what it is. <laughs> So with this being an item from the thrift store, all of the screws weren't in there all the way and it wasn't as secure as I needed it to be. So I went ahead and glued these little silver parts and then just glued the back on and then whatever screws that I did have, I went ahead and screwed that in. I think I only had like three screws that were actually working. Even though you see all these screws on the back, it was only like three that actually worked. So I'm just pressing that in really well. And for real, you are, even if you don't want to use a frame, you can just cut out cardboard and make it like a frame and then cut out a bigger piece as your back and um, just use that, you know, instead of using the picture frame. If you want, I can show you a video on that. It'll be like really, really cheap and inexpensive. But I got this from, uh, what do you call it? The, if you're here in St. Louis, it's off of Vendor Vendor. It's a Goodwill, but it's like... A goodwill outlet so they have these huge bins where you can just kind of go through it and just grab anything um, and what they do is they weigh everything and you pay by how much it weighs so I think that this ended up being like 50 cents for this frame like it was super cheap and like I said I had a headband station in my bar my baby shower so I'm just taking off the name tags and applying the headbands and I realized like everything she has is pink <laughs> so but it's still really cute and girly and I love it so this is the end result I hope you all like it um, you can always hang it on a wall like put glue a ribbon on the back and be able to hang it on the wall or you can kind of put it on an easel and have it on a countertop hope you like this video if you'd like to see more tutorials like this video comment and subscribe thanks for watching peace